Friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use the flex basis property to set the initial size of an item. Um, I'm already noticing that over here there's nothing showing, and that gives us an idea for what this is going to be about. The flex basis property specifies the in initial size of the item before CSS makes adjustments with flex shrink or flex grow. The units used on flex basis property are the same as other size properties. So there's pixels, um, I think that's ratio, and then percentage. No, EM has something to do with its relationship to the size of the device that it's being uh, displayed on. Uh, the value auto sizes items based on the content. Set the initial size of boxes using flex basis. Uh, okay, the initial size of the box using flex basis. We want to add the, f the property flex basis to both box one and box two, and then give box one a value of 10 EM, and then box two a value of 20. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Flex basis, 10 EM, and then here. So you see that it actually spread it out. I think that it's going, hmm, I just don't honestly understand this. Flex basis, 20 EM. And yeah, that should pass the test. However, what's really going on here? It's saying that specifies the initial size of the item before the CSS makes adjustments with flex shrink or flex grow. So, yeah, I wonder if we did flex shrink here. Oh, uh, 10 px. What did that do? Did that change much? Yeah, it changed the amount of size that was there. I would have thought that this would make it 50-50. Anyways, I think that that's basically what they're saying is that you can set the initial basis of the height of the of the width using this flex basis uh, selection. And so here we're getting like a one-third type thing. We're in the test. We see they pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.